Here we go again. You requested it, so here we go. After reacting to Rule Britannia, At the last night of proms in 2009, got many suggestions for this one. It's Jerusalem and God Save the Queen. Now I learned a lot, a lot about this just by talking to you on the comments in the previous video. So now I know this whole event is two months long, filled with patriotic songs and probably so much more I'm still learning about. And someone even mentioned how much the tickets are specifically to the Royal Albert Hall here and it is incredible. I'll talk about all this after the video. I'm going to try not to stop it at all throughout until the end and we can discuss it and I'll I'll pull up the ticket prices and what the prices are going to be for 2023 and we'll go from there. So I'm excited for this. I love these things. I love patriotic songs. I love national anthems. Without further ado, let's 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 do this. Sing along and let's enjoy this together. Many traditions here tonight. Let's do this. Beautiful, beautiful. Love that. Look at all the flags. I love Jimmy it. Parry's hymn, Jerusalem, in a setting of words by William Blake. Here we go. Here we go. And a quick mention here before we get to the grand finale of the show, of the song, of this beautiful piece. And people mentioned it in the previous video, but when everyone, tens of thousands of people come together and sing and harmonize the same song, the same rhythm, the same feel, just kind of the you know, same emotion just running through the entire Royal Albert Hall, all in unison, and then out at Hyde Park, and I'm sure many other places. It's just a powerful, beautiful thing to be a part of. Really, it is. If I'm ever there around this time, I would love to. Uh, I can't, I don't think I could afford these tickets, but uh, I'll be out in Hyde Park, maybe. I don't know. Well, let's continue. Yes. 
<laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> How can you not just jump up and be excited for that? That was, uh, yeah. It starts off so delicately with that choir, so light. It just builds and builds until they're all singing in unison. Tens of thousands of people, maybe hundreds of thousands. I don't know. Whoever was watching it at home at the time. I'd love to know how many people actually tune in and watch this. The energy you feel just from watching it through a video like this, you really feel it. And in a tiny, tiny way, you could actually kind of put yourself there. Great suggestion. I love it. And you can just see so many different countries' flags here. Everyone coming together. And once again, I asked this in the previous video, but if any anyone has ever been to either ro the Royal Albert Hall or Hyde Park or any other, I guess, parties you have, please let me know and kind of where you're at, what, what it was like, what the what you felt. So here we are for the tickets. Let me change the screen here. This is what I see from premierevents.co.uk. Look at these prices. Just the cheapest one that I could find is almost a thousand pounds, all the way up to almost 2,000 pounds. This might be, let's see, yeah, this is per person. So I found another site. It's a little, it varies a little bit differently. However, this one also for 2023 says a little cheaper in, in some ways, almost 900 pounds. And then all the way up, this is not per person. This is just if you have private 12 seat luxury grand tier box that would be awesome that would be amazing 12 people just be like hey 12 of my friends or eight of my friends above it or five of them or family let's make this a once in a lifetime kind of situation here let's pool our money together and go to the last night at proms to see all this unfold it's incredible i think i think it's can be worth it or even going to Hyde Park would be a lot of fun but these ticket prices thank you for mentioning this in the previous video about how much these tickets are because I I had no idea and it really shows how large an event this is I would love to go to something like this someday I'm a pretty frugal person however when it's life experiences I will spend uh, spend the money but otherwise penny pincher and this if I had the money I would consider so thank you for the suggestions. I know there's a couple more that were mentioned, but please suggest more that I could watch or listen to other events or other events during these eight weeks that goes on. And it's all in Royal Albert Hall, which I've said in previous videos, very random, but um, I saw the outside of this place, but never went in. I would love to because I love Victoria and Albert. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good rest of your day.